Hi everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here doing a pick a card reading today and the question that we are asking our kind, wise guides and ancestors and the Archangelic Alliance to deliver us guidance and messages on was suggested by a young lady who has just started to delve into the tarot and her question was one that I thought was really amazing and it's general but we might see which areas of our lives can be guided by the question and the answers that it brings and her question is how can I improve so I'm going to offer three different um, answer piles today and I'm going to use all three decks the spiritual tarot, the animal tarot, and the ancient French tarot for each of the three readings. And I'm going to shuffle and put those cards down into three piles. But if you want to choose um, now, you can think about which pile might be for you by selecting the energy of this Lemurian quartz crystal. which will be for the first pile that's shuffled and dealt out. Or maybe you're in the mood for a little azurite. This is azurite, um, which is that beautiful, intense azure color there. And it's mixed with malachite, which is that beautiful swirly green. So it's kind of like activating the heart chakra and the throat chakra at the same time. And it really pulls in a lot of guidance from higher vibrational dimensions. That will be for pile two. And pile three is this beautiful blue pearl. So this was gifted to me on a very magical hike in the mountains near San Jose del Pacifico. So maybe I should put the blue pearl with the mushroom. I'll put them together. That's for pile three. Whoops. Mm, blue pearl wants to roll. So we'll leave the mushroom on pile three. So I'm going to shuffle out the, the piles now. Just let's take a minute and we'll do pile one. Thank you to our kind, wise guides and ancestors for being present here today and carrying only the highest guidance of unconditional love and infinite light to all who receive the information through this video and through the words that come to me. The images of the tarot and the guidance of the vibration of all who wish to know, how can I improve? How can I improve? How can I improve? Interesting. So pile one got one card, pile two got two cards, and pile three got three cards <laughs> from the first deck. OK. 
Okay, let's go to the Animal Tarot. Asking the question for Pile 1, how can I improve? And for Pile 2, how can I improve? Kind, wise guides and ancestors, please provide guidance from this beautiful Animal Tarot on how I can improve. For Pile 3 from the Animal Tarot, how can I improve? Can I improve for all of those who chose pile three from the animal tarot? How can I improve? Let's see if there's one more for pile three. I feel like there is. Okay, and from the Ancient French Tarot. This will be the card that goes on top of the piles that may indicate in what area of your life this answer refers to. So it's kind of the significator card from this lovely Ancient French Tarot. Kind, wise guides and ancestors on the other side. Please be present with us today to help us know Pile 1, how can I improve? Pile 1, what is the significator card for? How can I improve for Pile 1, please? Angels, Pile 1 wants to know how they can improve. What's the significator card, please? For pile one. And for pile two, what is the significator card? Whoops, pile two. And for pile three, what is the significator card, please? For how can I improve? Interesting. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Okay, so pile one, the Lemurian Quartz, and La Force, the Strength card. Pile two, on top we have the Queen of Swords, and the Azurite Stone. In Pile 3, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse, with the Blue Pearl, and the Mushroom. Okay, so if you've made your choice, let's get started with the first pile. Move these guys over here for a minute. So the first pile, you have strength. You have the Knight of Ancients, or the Knight of Wands in reverse, which in the animal deck is the Komodo Dragon in reverse. And you have the Mother of Earth, or the Queen of Pentacles, in reverse. Hmm.
So with the strength card as the significator card, which is number 11, Major Arcana, you can see this image of a man who looks very strong uh, interacting with this lion who looks equally strong. The lion has his tongue out, his eyes are red, and it looks like the man's club, which is also red, has been discarded or dropped on the ground. And it's really interesting because it's hard to tell here whether, for a minute, whether this is a lion's paw or a man's foot. It's kind of in the shadow, and it kind of looks like, in some ways, it's part of the lion's body. Yet, the man is holding the lion's paw against his own leg, so the lion has, in some ways, become part of the man's body. I feel like the question for the first pile, how can I improve, is asking about how can I become more my full authentic self? How can I improve the accessing and the expression of my full authentic self. And even though the lion is generally considered to be, you know, an animal, and in some interpretations of the tarot, obviously is an animal, but in some interpretations of the tarot, this card is, this energy is considered to be expressing dominance over a lower nature. When you think about an animal or the lion, which is the pinnacle of the food chain in his or her environment, we're talking in some ways about a higher nature because it is closer to a natural state. In fact, it is the natural state than humans have become. And I feel that looking at the other two cards, that is what is being examined for pile one. So the question, how can I become more my authentic self, is talking about how can I become more my natural self, my universal self, perhaps even. And Initially, the answer is saying, okay, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to start by laying down my arms <laughs> and just using my body and trying to come into some kind of balance or integration with my natural self through my actual body without any artificial means, without any additional means, without any other technologies. I'm going to use what nature provided for me, just like the pinnacle of the natural world does in the animal world. So that's the first part of the question and the answer to how can I improve for pile one. So next we have the Knight of Ancients, or the Knight of Wands, which in this animal deck is the Komodo Dragon, Survival Instincts and Impulses. The Komodo Dragon is a predator as well, and you can see this picture kind of looks like a T-Rex or something, <laughs> a dinosaur, a predatory dinosaur. And obviously the reptilian creatures on our planets, on our planet do carry that DNA. The Knight of Wands is fire. Action, energy can be um, 
the impulses of the hormones or the impulses that are kind of a little less examined um, sort of as it says survival instincts and impulses so this could be fight or flight it could also be sexual impulses or instincts um, which can be used in a positive way creatively but can also be negative in that sometimes they limit us to a very basic kind of way of living um, the fact that the knight of ancients is in reverse or healing position here is showing that maybe one way that you can improve is by examining your own reactions to situations and your own patterns which could be kind of at a more highly ignited level than a thought pattern or even an emotional reaction but something that's almost in your blood something that's instinctive or in your brain where you might become you know aroused in a way it could be sexual it could be um, energetically such as with strong emotions or ambitions to do something but it might not be the best choice for you all the time to go by that instinctive level and to just sort of take what is in front of you because you want it so the komodo dragon is cool and i like the fact that the word dragon is in this creature's name because dragon is the legendary creature of transformation and transmutation of lower energy into higher energy and I feel that it's it's really expressing well the fact that we can use this very basic electromagnetic energy which is in our bodies and in our brains and you know kind of hardwired into our intelligence for positive means as long as it is combined and blended with our other tools the first one of which was the physical so the body the gift of the body and the second one is that fire energy of instinct and desire and survival so if we combine the physical with the instinctive we're getting closer to how we can improve that's with the healed instinctive so that you're aware of the impulses that you're receiving from the reptilian portion of your brain which could be fight flight or sex <laughs> to be polite um, you're aware of those impulses but you're bringing in other energy to understand them and to make clear decisions and choices the third card is the Queen of Pentacles and she came out in the healing position as well Mother Earth this is such a beautiful image and the energy of the Queen of Pentacles in the tarot is very powerful very abundant very healed very connected with the natural bounty of being alive on this planet so she's in reverse and she's healing too and that's not a surprise considering the way humans have come to interact with our planetary parent over the last hundred thousand years <laughs> unfortunately um, our disconnection from our planetary parent and that's both a masculine and a feminine energy but we will call her mother earth or tierra, tierra madre today um, our interaction with this divine entity that we are living with has become so interrupted um, detached maladjusted that the damage that we do to ourselves and the the outmoded impulses that direct us in the way that we live our own lives 
are also affecting the vitality and integrity of our planetary parent and everyone and everything that coexists with us here. So this is really saying, okay, how can I improve? I can improve by giving attention, time and care to my connection with my planetary parent. Because that abundance, that natural flow of abundance, which includes the impulses, you know, of the mammalian brain and body, the reptilian brain, hopefully not body if you're <laughs> trying to live as a human on the planet, but <laughs> um, and everything else, this beautiful flow of the flowering of life energy, which is an equal intake and output of energy and is also coming down from a higher source our sun and all of the other conveyors of source energy to bless us to bless all of us who are participating in you know these these ripples these waves of time these cycles these lives so i think for pile one connecting with the body in a natural way without technology. So it could be exercise, it could be playing, you know, um, with your own weight, um, as in yoga or any kind of dance. It could even, even be wrestling. It could be hanging out with your animals, your cats and dogs, um, your animal companions. It could be studying animals and you know going to places that they are in the wild and giving attention and consideration to their behavior and the way that they interact with the world and that is the kind of strength that is most beneficial to you in your improvement right now as well as consideration of the reptilian impulses fight flight and sex and how you conduct those um, to your your highest good and the highest good of all in your life. So it's about transforming them and transmuting them into not just the dragon that's confined to being close to the ground and being predatory here on Earth, and we all know that most of those guys are extinct now, but being the mythical dragon, the winged, beautiful creature of transmutation and transformation taking all aspects of your your being and your consciousness and allowing them to be blended into a higher version of yourself and also giving the love attention and highest regard possible to your planetary parents which could mean taking into consideration your contribution to um, being more attuned to the natural environment, um, taking care of your plants, um, eating properly and being conscious of the source of your food and how it affects the planet and how it affects your body, which is part of this planet. So yeah, for pile one, there's some very beautiful advice um, for you here today from your highest guides and ancestors and your highest self. So thank you for watching and I hope that that helps you on your quest for improvement. So we're going to move on to the second pile and we did get some extra cards here. So pile two's got a little bit more information but I'll try and go through it. So how can you improve pile two and what is this improvement about? So we see the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is about clear communication and she is also about boundaries which are correct for herself, the truth, and being a great listener, a great speaker, and expressing herself in the highest means possible in a fair 
and balanced way. So for you, I think this could be about communication to begin. And we also have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is about an emotional healing process which is occurring um, and can sometimes talk about being out of balance a little bit or maybe being in the process of moving into balance because you feel that there is some aspect of your emotional self that is not being expressed or some need in your emotional self which is not being met. So this looks like it's about how can I improve recognizing and expressing my emotional needs. Oh, oh, this is so beautiful. So we have the 10 of four leggeds or the 10 of pentacles and in the animal deck, it's moose, home, birth, primal mother. So again, we have this very feminine energy and you can see the mother moose feeding her baby this is a Canadian animal. Um, I think it might be in other parts of the northern northern hemisphere, maybe, you know, in northern Europe as well. But they're abundant here, not so far from, well, they, they actually do show up where I live right now. <laughs> Sometimes they come from the forest and they try to go in people's swimming pools, actually, in this area. And sometimes we just see them on the road. But they're very immense, beautiful and ancient mammals. So again, we have the mammalian energy and it's showing up in the feminine this time. And the Ten of Four Leggeds or the Ten of Pentacles is this, you know, this primal connection with home, safety, and being provided everything that you need from your early life in a parental way um, and your inner child memories and your inner child care to making yourself a happy home anywhere that you are um, on the planet and feeling secure in what you can provide for yourself and for others if you're responsible for others. So this is a very positive card and if your question is about communicating your emotional needs and it's coming out as home, birth, and primal mother, it could have something to do with Sorry, I have to change positions. Your needs as, you know, a child, as a mother and a child, and someone who provides and gives care. We also have the hermit, which is a major arcana card. This is a nine. And we have the Five of Wands, so another five to go with the first Five of Cups, which is called the Struggle in this deck. I'm going to put these two fives together. So we've got two fives and a ten. So I feel that this is indicating that a cycle is coming to a close for you in the kind of inner difficulties and struggles that have reflected in your outer world in trying to meet your needs for emotional security which maybe has blocked your your needs and your wishes and desires for the kind of home you live in and the kind of relationship you have with your inner child which would reflect outwardly in your relationship with your parent your parents and also with your own children or anyone who plays those roles in your life um, so the two fives they're present and they're showing that this process is well underway now um, that you're you are struggling or working on coming into your own as far as identifying your emotional needs and with the five of cups and with the five of fire the five of wands with identifying the voices and influences both within yourself and externally which are valuable to you in understanding and healing these situations which are on the verge of major changes the fact that these two five cards are here um, shows me that you're doing some very valuable inner work right now and I'm 
going to offer encouragement from your guides in the form of this Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Four Leggeds saying that you are doing a good job at taking care of your inner child and you have all the resources you need that your connection with your natural self and your connection with your inner mother and with the home that you provide yourself by caring about yourself and making good decisions in your own self-care is the most important thing that you can rely upon right now in order to meet your emotional needs which reflect on your external environment and your home living situation so you above all are capable of providing this love and care to your inner child you are the best mother and the most deserving child in your own life it's a very powerful message that i am transmitting to you from your highest self through the energy of the ten of pentacles there are many many good things ahead your dreams are being fulfilled looking at the hermit we can see that this process of how you can improve your living situation and the care that you receive regarding your emotional needs and the guidance that you receive from yourself and others and the way that you discern what is good for you before you attain the ten of pentacles where you feel that you're in a satisfactory comfortable safe place um, that you've created in your life for home and family it's suggesting how you can do this is withdrawing a little bit from the opinions of other people and from the values of external society from the values of um, ideas that you may have received from a lot of other sources besides your inner parent about what's important and how you should or must live so taking some time out for yourself whether you can do this for an extended period